Okay, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't seen my previous videos on this matter, I have added uh, links in the description below. But let's recap. So Russian business tycoon Farkad Akhmadov was ordered to pay approximately 40% of his £1 billion plus fortune to his ex-wife Tatyana Akhmadova by London's High Court. In December 2016, the English High Court ordered Mr Akhmadov to pay his estranged wife £453 million in a divorce settlement that included the transfer of cash, property comprising a modern art collection, helicopter, private jet and the superyacht motor yacht Luna in one of the largest divorce settlements in legal history. But Mr Akhmadov failed to pay the £453 million pounds, or $594 million dollars and as a result the London court granted a worldwide freezing order. Mr Akhmadov instructed the yacht to leave the EU and head to the Middle East thinking this would put the yacht out of the reach of this order. However Mr Akhmadov's super yacht was impounded in Dubai in 2018. The $8 million helicopter was seized and sold in December 2018 according to lawyers for Ms Akhmadova. Nautilus International is a Siemens union that represents a number of crew working on board. It is disappointing that yet again the crew on board Moti Yacht Luna are being drawn into a divorce dispute, Nautilus International organiser Danny McGowan said. Seafarers working on board super yachts are maritime professionals and do not deserve to potentially face pressure to move a yacht in contravention of high court orders. Nautilus members are advised not to participate in the removal of the vessel from Dubai International Waters. Acting in contravention of these orders may put crew at risk, Bridge McFarland's partner Rob Ripley cautioned. Nautilus estimates up to 30 crew could remain on board. Nautilus previously helped members serving on board Motiat Lona who, in a fragrant violation of their rights, had their passports seized by local authorities in Dubai, purportedly to prevent the super yacht from leaving the Emirate. Nautilus worked with the Marshall Islands flag state to reassure members and a successful court judgment ordered the return of the passports. The freezing order was upheld by Justice Gwyneth Knowles on the 26th of March of this year and the vessel ordered to be held in Dubai until further notice. The defendants were ordered to pay port fees, insurance and operating costs including crew costs. However, According to Reuters on the 27th of March this year, a Dubai Court of Appeal ruled that the Dubai Lower Court's order to impound the yacht was wrong, allowing it to leave the port, documents seen by Reuters showed. But lawyers acting for Ms. Akhmadova called the ruling a procedural decision and said that the case had been referred to another Dubai court for a further hearing. Ms. Akhmadova will simply continue to pursue her claims in the Dubai courts. She is bolstered by the fact that she successfully obtained additional orders in the English court yesterday to secure Luna, the lawyers said in a statement. Okay, so where does that leave us? Even though the court papers seen by Reuters from the Dubai court suggest Luna was free to leave on the 28th of March of this year, as of the 3rd of April 2019, the vessel was still subject to an injunction order from the Marshall Islands court preventing it from being moved. And as of today's date, 8th of July, 2019, Motiot Luna is still sat in Port Rashid in Dubai, according to Marine Traffic. And in the latest twist to this almost unbelievable story, Mr. Akhmadov has, according to GulfNews.com, filed a lawsuit for damages against his ex-wife in the sum of $85 million for wrongful empowerment in Dubai, according to a statement by the tycoon's representatives in April. The claim is issued against Akhmadov's ex-wife Tatyana Akhmadova and her financial backers Burford Capital Investments, a London-listed litigation finance company. According to the statement from Akhmadov's representatives, Burford has bankrolled Tatyana's attempts to recover the £453 million. So what do you think of this story? Do you think it's fair that a court can effectively take money from Mr Akhmadov and hand it to his wife? If they built their fortune together, then I say it's fair. If he was already a billionaire when they met, then do they have the right to take it from him? Are you a crew member on board or do you know someone working on board? If so, get in touch.